Hey everybody, and in this video, I'm gonna be revealing five mystery t-shirt designs that made over $100,000 on Teespring, or the very similar website, Viral Style. Not only am I going to reveal what these t-shirts are, but I'm also going to explain why they sold so well so that you can help take these lessons and create your own successful designs. Now, my last video on Teespring turned out to be pretty popular, so I suspect a lot of you know what Teespring is, but just in case that you don't, Teespring is a website where you can sell custom print-on-demand merch that you create, with the most popular being t-shirts. Once you sign up, which is free to do, you can then create your own custom products by uploading an image file. You then add in a product description and set a price. It's like having your own website where people can purchase your shirt from you, but of course you don't have to pay anything to list and sell it. Then when a customer comes to your page and purchases the t-shirt from you, Teespring will then print your image onto a t-shirt and then ship it out to the customer for you. Best of all, they will do this automatically without you having to do anything. In the industry, we call this print on demand. Now, for many people, that's not actually the best part about Teespring. The best part for some people is that to sell an item on there and to make money doing so, you don't actually need to have a credit card or any startup money. That's because when you sell a t-shirt on Teespring, what they'll do is take the money that the customer pays, remove the cost of the t-shirt from the price, and pay out the difference as profit, like a commission. They have multiple payout options. You can have it paid out to your PayPal account or a worldwide Payoneer account. So obviously, all of this is pretty cool. It allows you to sell products and make money without having to spend any money. But it does beg a couple of questions. Question one, what t-shirts should I sell? And question two, how should I sell them? And I think those are great questions. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at previous case studies and examples of successful t-shirts that sold hundreds of thousands of dollars on Teespring. But that's not all, because we've had a huge influx of new subscribers, I decided to introduce them to a staple here at this channel, which is quiz videos. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reveal one t-shirt to you, and you have five seconds to guess how much money you think that this t-shirt made. Play along and see how many you can get right. All right, here is mystery t-shirt number one. How much money do you think that this made on Teespring? You have five seconds to guess, go. All right, drum roll please. The answer is that this t-shirt made over $200,000. Yep, this t-shirt design has made its creator over $200,000 on Teespring, which is pretty incredible. But how did he do it? Well, he followed that exact same method that I talked about in last week's video. He used the Facebook fan page plus Teespring method. Best of all, this t-shirt here, it's just one example of a successful design that this Teespring store has had. It's made hundreds of thousands of dollars by selling a big range of engineer-related merchandise thanks to this Facebook fan page. So here it is. Now, yes, it's pretty big at this point, but even when it was just a fraction of its size, it was making money. In fact, it's been making money consistently for years and years. It's built its following in a simple way, by posting funny pictures that are relevant to engineers. Funny pictures and pages are one of the easiest ways to grow because people will often share the posts with their friends and best of all tag them in posts. Now over time this page has grown organically for free as a result of consistently posting funny pictures that engineers like. Now he usually posts about two pictures a day and uh, this keeps your audience engaged and as you can see uh, he also advertises the products in the post, and because of the fact that he pairs it with a funny picture, it gets huge engagement and advertising for their products. Now, of course, building up a niche social media account like this is not an overnight strategy, but that's okay, because it is a free strategy. As I've said before on this channel, if you want overnight, fast, free money, then you need to be prepared to pay for traffic. And I will be showing you an example of a fast money method later in this video. But if you want a free strategy to make money, then this is a great one. Build up a social media following that focuses on a group of people that are highly passionate about something. In this case, engineers are very dedicated to their professional careers and are extremely passionate. And then once you have built a social media following, you can then use it to launch and sell products designed to appeal to it over and over again. 
Honestly, this is pretty basic. It's not rocket science to see why this works so well, but even though there are literally countless examples of people who are doing this successfully, I still had people asking on my previous Teespring video, hey guys, does this actually work? And whenever I saw a comment like that, I'm not a good person, because what I was thinking was, gee, let me think about that for a moment. Does building a niche audience online of people who are passionate about something by posting great content that they like, and then using that platform to share products that appeal to this audience, does this work? Because even though there are lots and lots of examples of people who are successfully doing this, I'm still not actually sure if this whole take time to build a dedicated social page about a niche audience and then post great niche specific shareable products on there that they would actually like. I'm not sure if this actually works. Well, if you're still on the fence about this, then take this video as your answer. Yes, if you're dedicated to this and don't treat it like an overnight gold rush, this does very much indeed work. If you're looking to follow this strategy for yourself, but you're not sure what niche audience you should build up on say Instagram or Facebook or another social media page, then careers can actually be a great source of inspiration. For example, here's one of my favorite Instagram pages, which yes, also works great with this method instead of a Facebook fan page. This page is all about accounting memes. You know, I'm not even an accountant, but I have friends that are and they love this page. And as you can see on Social Blade, they are growing rapidly each and every day. They plan to launch merchandise soon, and if they do what the engineering memes page did and create a great design, they will be successful. And here is another example of a career-focused design. This nursing t-shirt was aimed at a very specific type of nurse, an OB nurse, and it made well over $50,000. And this t-shirt here for maths teachers, well, this one made over $50,000 too. And by the way, if you are enjoying this video so far and you have learned something and would like to learn even more about making money online, then be sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell next to it so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Did you guess right? If so, congratulations. If you didn't though, that's okay because we've got another chance for you to win. It's on to mystery t-shirt number two. All right, here is the t-shirt. How much money do you think that this design has made? You've got five seconds, go. All right, time's up, drum roll please. This t-shirt made over $400,000. And it's such a simple design, it's mostly just text with a simple graphic of a football that you could easily find available for free. So why did such a simple design that anyone could so easily replicate sell so well? Well, this t-shirt is actually in a niche where it's simple text-based designs with great slogans that appeal emotionally to the customer actually sell well. And that's because the number one thing in life that parents are passionate about is their kids. So it shouldn't come as a surprise then that this similar t-shirt they created aimed at mothers of kids that play baseball made well over $100,000. And this design for mothers of soccer players made over $50,000. And fun fact, unlike most places in the world, here in New Zealand, we actually use the same terminology as the USA. We call this soccer, and we call this football, and of course, we call this rugby. Rip the All Blacks. Anyway, back to the video. Did you guess right? If so, congratulations. If you didn't, it's all good, because we've got another chance for you to win. Alrighty, here's mystery t-shirt number three. How much money do you think that this one made on the Teespring clone-like website, Viral Style? You've got five seconds to guess. Go. Okay then, drum roll please. The answer is that this t-shirt made over $200,000. The question then is why? Well, there are two major factors as to why this t-shirt and its product variations sold so well. For the first, we want to go and take a look at where this Teespring store managed to find its customers and surprise, surprise, its customers came from Facebook. Here is their store fan page. They have tens of thousands of fans of people in the hunting niche. Now this ad promoting this t-shirt did incredibly well and it's not hard to see why. From the comments, you very quickly get the impression that people are taken aback and pleasantly surprised by the shirt because they've never seen anything like it before. Yet it speaks so strongly to them because the time that these fathers and daughters spent together is some of their happiest memories. 
At the time that this t-shirt launched, very few t-shirts out there existed that targeted this very large yet passionate group of people. Targeting an underserved niche of people is one of the secrets of creating successful print-on-demand products. It's why that this t-shirt, despite statistically being more relevant to a bigger audience, did not sell quite as well as this t-shirt here, because the previous t-shirt targeted a group of people that already had products for it. By focusing on daughters that go hunting with their dads, despite it being a smaller group of people, it did well because products in this sub-niche did not previously exist. Although yes, this t-shirt definitely sold well too, even if it wasn't quite as big of a winner. But this fan page is also noteworthy for something else. It's noteworthy for the way in which they rapidly grew their fan page and the way that they rapidly grew their sales. What they did was they created this amazing design to kickstart it that resonated with people and then advertised it with low-cost Facebook ads. Because people really liked the design and shared it with their friends, not only did people go and buy it, but the page got thousands of likes too. They got paid while growing their Facebook fan page with ads. The fan page that they then used to launch new designs for the future. Pretty cool, right? There's another bonus feature to this t-shirt though that helped them sell a lot of shirts. And it's because when most people buy this, they don't just buy one, they buy two. One t-shirt for the dad and one t-shirt for the daughter. Being creative and creating products that are designed to have somebody buy not just one, but multiples of it, is one of the easiest ways to drastically increase the profits you make when selling online, which is why I teach you how to implement this tactic effectively inside my premium print-on-demand video training course, the Ecom Clubhouse. If you're interested in signing up, you'll find a link to it in the video description below. And you know what? There's actually something else that eagle-eyed subscribers who are watching closely earlier might have noticed. These two successful t-shirts, they're essentially just the same design. Once this one design was made, all the creator had to do was swap out the word daughter for son. It's two winning designs for the price of one. So, did you get it right? If so, congratulations. If you didn't though, that's okay because we've got another chance for you to win. Here is mystery t-shirt number four. How much money do you think that this made? You have five seconds to guess, go. All right, time's up, drum roll please. This t-shirt made over $300,000. Yep, over $300,000, isn't that crazy? Well, it's not actually that crazy at all. Because believe it or not, this whole little niche of making t-shirts designed around people's ages is actually extremely popular and very high in demand. This Teespring store, it hasn't just made $300,000 from this t-shirt, nope. It's made over $150,000 with this design, and over $40,000 with this design, and over $35,000 from this design. If you haven't guessed already why these t-shirts sold so well, a really big part of it is that they kind of fall under the birthday niche. I.e. someone might buy this t-shirt for a friend who is turning 50, or some people might just buy it for themselves as a funny surprise for their friends and family on their birthday. Now this isn't the only reason why somebody would buy an age-based t-shirt, but it is a really big reason. And actually, while this video is about Teespring, it is worth deviating for a moment to talk about another website where this niche dominates. And that is Merch by Amazon. This is Amazon's free print-on-demand service. For those of you that don't know, Merch by Amazon works incredibly similar to the way that Teespring does. Once registered, you can create your own custom products like t-shirts. All you need to do is upload the artwork or design you want onto it. You can then go in and select which colors you want your t-shirt to be and create a custom product page for it. Your t-shirt product page listing will then go live and people can buy it and find it directly on Amazon.com, Amazon UK and Amazon Germany. Just like this t-shirt here, which is also in the birthday niche. In the last month, it made its creator over $3,000. It's a nice source of side income for its creator. Just like Teespring, Amazon will collect the money that the customer paid, take out the cost of production, and then pay out the rest to you as profit in the form of a commission. However, unlike with Teespring, where almost anyone can sign up for an account, with Merch by Amazon, you do need to submit an application. So I highly recommend that you go and you Google for advice on how to successfully submit an application letter 
so that you can get accepted first go like several of our subscribers were when they applied after watching my last video. But yes, Amazon is actually a really common place for people to come and search for t-shirts to buy for birthdays, especially milestone birthdays, such as this simple text-based t-shirt design here, which made over $1,400 passively last month. And this t-shirt here, which made almost $5,000 last month passively from free internal search traffic. And another way to successfully twist this idea of making a t-shirt about birthdays is to, instead of focusing on the age, focus on the birth year. Such as this shirt here, while it's aimed at 50 year olds, it focuses on the birthday year rather than the age. In the last month, this has made over $3,000 and has consistently been making its creator thousands of dollars each and every month from free internal search traffic. Did you get it right? If so, congratulations. If you didn't, that's all good because you've got another chance to win. It's on to mystery t-shirt number five. Here it is. How much money do you think that this made on Teespring? You have five seconds to guess. Go. All right, time's up. Drum roll, please. The answer is that this t-shirt made over $100,000. Pretty insane, right? Just the word pretentious inside of a red rectangle? Man, creating this on an image editing app would be super simple. Making money online is so easy. I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. Ah, uh, no. Sorry, son, it's not quite that simple. The reason why this design sold over $100,000 is because it was sold by none other than Philip DeFranco, who, if you've never heard of him before, runs a news and commentary YouTube channel with over 6 million subscribers. So remember, if you are using a product research tool like this to look at previously successful products on places like Teespring or AliExpress, be careful. Just because you see a product sold well doesn't mean that it's good for you to sell because the context of why a product or a design sold well is extremely important too. So yes, product research apps can be great for print on demand stores and dropshipping stores, but don't rely on them. Thanks for watching this video. How many t-shirts did you guess right? Let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you would like even more free training on how to set up a successful print on demand business, then you should be sure to download our free ebook, The Six Steps That Six Figure Online Stores Follow to Make Over $10,000 a Month. And you'll find a link to download that ebook in the video description below.